should be lovers. I never had a chorus finished for We Should Be Lovers, and it probably was sitting there for a long time. Can I change your mind? Will you find some time to explain? Yeah, but I never had anything for a chorus, and so I let it go, which is another one of those ideas that were coming around. But I remember we recorded a record uh, with the band Surrender, and we were doing a lot of dates, and of course, back then, the bars and so we were playing, it was really important to get songs that are really uh, you know, high potential, like, you know, potency, and as far as, like, getting everybody drinking and dancing, jumping around like idiots. So, uh, so at the time, uh, we did this record that was basically, like, a lot of songs with actually no depth whatsoever, and it was really drove me crazy. We recorded the record, and I realized, like, as I said, there was no depth at all, and I, um, I hated the record, and, and I guess the record company did too, and I asked Dean Cameron at EMI at the time, and I, capitally am I, and I said, Dean, let me redo this. So he gave me some extra monies, uh, and I went into the studio um, uh, that was run by D. Long and John Jones, and D. Long was with Klaatu, and he's just a genius uh, engineer dude, you know, and it, it was like on the computer and whatnot. So I went in there, and in three weeks, literally two and a half to three weeks, rewrote the whole record. That song, uh, We Should Be Lovers, uh, was sitting there for in, in pieces for like two years and when I went in there we should be lovers and 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 it, it became something because we were I was recording at the same time at, at the same time I was writing recording and kind of something that I always liked to do I always thought that things lost by the time you demoed things and then re-recorded them again they lost something so what was great about that session and We Should Be Lovers is that I went in and everything that was written was done one time and, and was out that way. We, when I did Passion, that, it was done that way as well. We recorded it, it was written there, and then out it went. Um, so We Should Be Lovers is, uh, it turned out the way it did. Um, I believe it was, um, I can't remember the buddy's name now, but he was involved in doing a lot of engineer for Billy Joel at the time, and he mixed it. Um, the unfortunate thing about We Should Be Lovers is it was also the very first video that I ever did in my life. And uh, Doug and the Slugs, uh, Doug Bennett from Doug and the Slugs came up with this great, uh, <laughs> this fabulous idea that I should be wrestling in a great big pool of jello. Like it was a huge pool of jello, like so they could put four, uh, you know, you could put like, a, it was like an arena, an arena, like a like wrestling mat filled with jello. And these poor girls, half naked, rolling around in it for a song we should be lovers. And I'm this this guy that I think the, the the record company thought what a great idea to have Alfie and coming on to all these women and being just a real slut bag that he is, and and these women fighting over him, and I'm just going after another woman and kissing this stuff. It was really embarrassing, you know. It was horrible for the women, I'm sure, when we start thinking about anything to do with because I love women. And I thought it was really demeaning. And of course, I was in the middle of it. It was my first video, and I thought that everybody knew a lot better than I did. So Doug Bennett, may he rest in peace. I mean, he was a great guy, don't get me wrong, but he sold this idea on the record company where we should be lovers, should be Alfie wrestling, naked, you know, jello wrestlers in jello. And uh, just to mention that jello was really very cold. So the last thing I had in my mind was anything romantic at the time, uh, in many ways. But, um, it, again, it comes with these incredible memories. Alfie, we should be lovers in Jello. To this day, I still can't eat red Jello. <laughs>